Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're doing well. As you can tell from the very crinkly bag here, I have some supplies to show you. Some of them are art supplies, but not in the typical sense. Some of them are to do with art studying and some of them are to do with sketchbooking, as well as some art adjacent things as well. So it's a little bit of a different art haul and I hope that you enjoy seeing something a little bit different. If you are unfamiliar with Kenji, I have only just come across them myself. We uh, went to a store for the first time uh, yesterday, which is when I picked these up. There's cat hair everywhere. Uh, thank you to the cats for that. But it was my first time going to one and they had loads and loads of really cute things that I thought would be nice to just add a little bit of fun to my studying especially for art so also before we get into this I do want to apologize for any background noise you might hear we have a lot of really really strong wind outside right now and it might be picked up by the mic I'll try and edit out as much of that as possible but if you can hear anything then I do apologize for that but let's get into what I got the first thing is for art studying. So I have this clipboard here and when I'm studying for the last few years I've been using A4 printer paper and for the longest time <laughs> for what I've been doing is I've been putting a stack of A4 printer paper on an MDF board. I've got a couple of these and it just provides a little bit of backing and support, especially if you're holding the board while you're sitting or standing. And I've just been clipping paper onto it with just some standard clips, just like that. And this has been working out fine for me. I usually use two clips, one here and one here. And like I said, it works out just fine. But... I thought I'd add a little bit of fun and cuteness to my studying sessions with this board. So I'm super happy about that. I think it's really cute. And I'm not too worried about damaging this design from the drawing because it's printed on the back. It's not printed on the front. So hopefully it should be fine. But I also don't mind things gaining like a, a patina from use <laughs> as well over time. So that's the first art studying item. Next up we have some washi tape and a lot of artists like using washi tape for a few different purposes. Some people like to use them for masking off their paintings along the edges but I use different tape for that. Other people like using them for sketchbooking and either for just decorating the pages to provide backgrounds or sometimes even putting multiple next to each other to fill in say like a dress so that you're coloring with the washi tape. I like using them in my sketchbooks to stick things in and to decorate the inside just for fun. So I have some like celestial ones here which I really like this is probably one of my favorites and I also like that one as well I like the color of this one but not the design quite as much as the other two. So these are going to be used in my sketchbook. Or well, sketchbooks, I should say. I use multiple sketchbooks at a time. And we also have the frog mascot as well. These are three different rolls of the frog mascot tape. I 
I love the frog mascot because it kind of has Animal Crossing vibes. Especially in this one and the top one. But I suppose this one too because it's got like the watering can and everything. Yeah, all, all of them have like Animal Crossing vibes. So some celestial stuff and then Animal Crossing vibes with the frog. And these are mainly going to be for just decorating my sketchbooks and for sticking things into my sketchbooks as well. Another thing that I got for art studying are these weekly planner sticky notes. They're basically like long post-it notes. They're sticky along the top. And I'm going to be putting these in my sketchbook in order to have all in one place a plan for things like my study sessions. So what topic I'm going to be studying that day, the exercises I'm going to be doing and things like that. But it also is somewhere that I can put in like social media post planning and if I'm doing art challenges like Peachtober. <laughs> then I can put in my plans for that or I could also use it for planning my, the stages of an illustration or painting or things like that as well but mostly I'm planning on using this for my studying and the little mascot there is called Dorothy and even though she's got an ear a little bit like a cat I believe that she's a sheep and to go along with this I got these sticky tabs so when I'm sketching for studying purposes, so not like creative sketching or just sketching for fun and things like that, if I'm sketching to study, I'll usually write next to my sketches um, various notes. So it might be things like what I enjoyed about the process, areas that I feel like I've improved at, areas that I feel that I need to work on, things that I struggled with while I was sketching and stuff like that so that I could then have a place to go from when I'm deciding what I need to be focusing on next. So I got these to write those little notes to again just add a little bit of fun to my studying and they match the weekly planner. So these are for art studying mainly. Another thing that I got for sketchbooking and just decorating my sketchbooks were some sticker packs. So I got the frog and Dorothy again because Animal Crossing vibes and witchy vibes. And these are the ones for the frog. Again, very Animal Crossing-y. very cute and these are the ones for Dorothy which are very suitable for this time of year for around Halloween so these are both going to be for sketchbooking and to add some decorations and some fun for that. The last thing that I got is this journal slash notebook and this is going to serve as my journal and studio notebook. Journaling can be a really really useful practice for a lot of people and there's loads of different ways to do it. Some are very planning focused, some are for recording and remembering things, for brainstorming, for remembering uh, what you've been doing in your art practice or your day. It can also be useful for working through things as well as a form of self-help or supplemental help and it can be all of those things, a few of those things or just one of those things for the different people. And it also just doesn't work for some people at all, but it's an important part of my life and my practice. And it serves a few different purposes for me, but one is for helping me in my creative practice and also with my art studying as well. And I already have one on the go at the moment. So this is gonna be my next one. And I've never obviously tried these before. So let's have a little look at the paper. It's kind of cream and 
quite thin. I'll probably use dry pens on this paper. I imagine that it's not going to be super amazing for things like my fountain pens, which is fine. It's just nice to use something a little bit different. And again, I went with Dorothy. So yeah, this is going to be a studio notebook slash journal moving forwards once I've finished with the one that I'm already using. So there you have it. This was a little bit of a different art haul in that it's not pencils and paint and things like that, but it's to do with art studying and the kind of like admin of learning and also your creative practice and then also just some sketchbooking supplies for fun as well. I think these are really cute and I'm going to have a lot of fun adding them to my sketchbook and hopefully these help out with my studying we shall see this one's trying to escape <laughs> but thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was in this video and maybe also how let me know how you like to use washi tape in your sketchbooks if you use washi tape but thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time bye